Bas shalom, daughters of Zion. Welcome to the Virtuous Woman channel. I'm Sister Rita Esther. And today's topic is unmerited favor. Hallelujah. Unmerited favor. Amen. Favor is a kind or helpful act or a support. Unmerited is undeserved. Is unworthy. Favor that we did not work for. That we are not qualified for. Hallelujah. Favor that is gotten by his mercy. Unmerited favor. Amen. In Ecclesiastes 9. Book of Ecclesiastes 9. Verse 11. He says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of to men of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill but time and chance happen to them all that time and chance that comes together as one is the favor hallelujah hallelujah and in first summer first summer two book of samuel book of summer first chapter two verse 26 says and he the child summer grew on and was in favor both with the lord and also with men both is in favor with the lord and is in favor with men if you don't have favor with the lord god almighty i am that i am you can never have favor with men hallelujah because everything is given to us from heaven amen if you have favor with the most high the lord i am that i am automatically automatically you will have favor with men because his favor will be as a cloth on you that moves with you all over hallelujah hallelujah and in proverbs 12 verse 2 says a good man obtained favor of the lord a good man is one that obtained it. the 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 wicked man can never obtain favor from the most high hallelujah not to now talk of unmerited favor a wicked man cannot he said i will show mercy on who i'm show mercy i will show compassion on whom i will show compassion but when we are deliberately wicked when we are deliberately sinning when we're deliberately wickedly move away from his laws move away from his ways he too will move away from us hallelujah amen and then john 3 verse 27 says a man receives nothing except it be given him from heaven we receive nothing except it comes to us from heaven hallelujah hallelujah in luke 2 verse 52 as well he talks about christ receiving favor christ received favor from god and man where there is favor from god automatically there will be favor from man because christ jesus of nazareth has received favor from the almighty as a begotten son automatically he will receive favor from men amen he loves us that we can ever imagine with his mercy he will show us uncommon favor hallelujah the favor that have never been seen on the planet of earth just like he did to um um david's son solomon just like he did to solomon he gave solomon wisdom that was never be that and that will never be after him hallelujah and he will show us powerful favor, unending favor, peculiar favor. is particular about us. Particular favor. He will give it to us. Hallelujah. Because it is not what we've done that make us receive it. He just in his mercy sees that we are working, trying, striving to be of him, to live for him, to walk with him. Then in his mercy, in his infinite mercy, 
he will give his unlimited favor. Hallelujah. One in a generation favor. Hallelujah. The favor that has not been given in this, our recent generation, he will give it to us. Amen. And one in a million favor. The favor that can only happen to, is very rare. You count it in the fingers of your hands or your toes. It's rare that you will see anyone that have gotten that favor. He will give it to us because it's divine favor. It's divine favor. It's unlimited favor. Hallelujah. Favor as with a shield. As it says in Psalms 5 verse 12. He will favor us as a shield. He will shield us with favor. Hallelujah. What more can we want? When his favor speaks for us. When his mercy directs us. When his grace strengthens us. What more can we want? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we don't know who. If you don't know who you are. You won't get what's yours. Yes. Holy Spirit dropped that in my spirit early in the morning. If I don't know who I am. What belongs to me, I will not get. Because in each family, when there is a family, they know their son name. And when they get any inheritance from any family, then you will know that, oh, this is my family. This is my son name. And this so, 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 they've given me that it belongs to me. But when you, when you don't know where you are from, you don't know whose son are you. You don't know whose son name you bear. How will you get what belongs to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the most high. If you don't know, how will it be yours? Know your identity in Christ so you can claim your, belong, your belongings from the powers of darkness. As, as and, um, in Luke, Jesus knew who he was. In Luke chapter 2 verse 52, Jesus knew who he was. That's why he could get favor, unmerited favor from God Almighty and from men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever curse that is holding my glory, my blessings, my breakthrough has to give it up because I know who I am in Christ. Amen. I have got his unmerited favor. Therefore, the strong doors of the strong man has to open by the most high favor. Amen. When I know who I am and I stand on the authority of Christ and I claim and I proclaim from the from the word of the most high to the kingdom of darkness what belongs to me wherever it is has to succumb has to come because it is written hallelujah know who you are today in christ know who you belong to know who real you are and hold it with your two hands let it not away so that you can use it to get your inheritance to get anything that is being delayed in your life it is coming just know who you are. When you know who you are, you won't want to live the sight of the most high. You will know he's the only one. He's the I am that I am. He's the ancient of days. He's the creator. And he's the he creator of for his glory. He is the king of glory. Hallelujah. King of glory will be there to restore glory. He is always there with us. He will be there to restore glory. He will be there to show his mercy. He will be there to show his power. He will be there in every step of the way. No matter what comes our way, he will be there because he is always giving us unlimited favor, peculiar favor, unmerited favor. Ah, one in a million favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Powerful favor. Unending favor. Amen. In in First Corinthians, in First Corinthians 2, First Corinthians 2, verses 9. And ten, he say, but it is written, eyes have not seen, nor hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the most I prepare for them that love him. The word of God didn't say them that hate him he didn't say them that don't love him he didn't say them that runs away from him hallelujah it is for them that loves him love the most high today and is ready to shower and bless you with unmerited favor hallelujah you need not to do anything just follow him and believe in him and live and pray he will shower hallelujah and verse 10 says but god has revealed them unto us by his spirit when you take christ as your personal lord and savior today 
Holy Spirit we come and rest with you and Holy Spirit will give you details of your life. He will tell you who you are. He will show you where he will, he will direct your path, both your way of dressing, both your, what you eat, both what you do. He will tell you reason why he doesn't leave anything kept for you. He is the God of light. I am that I am. Amen. By his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yeah. The deep things of God. Hallelujah. It is only the spirit of the most High that will search the deep things of the most High. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in Psalm 103, Psalms 103, verse 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah. The set time is come. The set time, the time to favor has come. Grab your your favor from the most high today by giving your life to christ by walking in his way he, is, he loves us more than we love him he's go extra man we cannot beat him in love hallelujah he has a rise to show us favor to give us unending favor let us grab this favor with our two hands by following him living for him hallelujah because he's, the favor is unmerited it's not that we have to do this or do that do that before he gives us anyway so far we know who we are so far we love him and we walk in his way amen hallelujah and when i go to obadiah hallelujah book of obadiah 1 verse 17 and it says Book of Obadiah 1 verse 17 says, But upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Hallelujah. House of Jacob shall possess their possession. We shall possess our possession when we know who we are. Hallelujah. House of Jacob is the chosen that God has chosen. And if you know that Holy Spirit has convicted you that you are of Jacob or you love the Lord naturally irrespective of who you are. Favor is on you. You shall possess your possession. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, in book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3 verses, I'll, I'll go to 11 first. He said, he had made everything beautiful. In his time, hallelujah, the most time made everything beautiful in his time. He set time for everything and he will never disappoint time. He will never go against what comes in his from his mouth because he said he has raised his word above his name. Hallelujah. Also, he has set the word in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. Because he knows the end from the beginning. Amen. And verse 14 says, I know that whosoever God doeth it shall be forever. Whatever he has done, it is done forever. When God bless us with unmerited favor, it is, that is it. When he give it, he give it, that's it. It's done forever. And when, like when he shut the door, no one can open it. When he opens the door, no one can shut it. Hallelujah. God doeth it shall be done, shall be forever. Nothing can put to it, no anything taken from it. And God doeth it that men should fear him. That men should fear before him. Hallelujah. That men should fear before him. Amen. When the most I come, it comes big. When the most high comes, it comes great. Hallelujah. His ways is on the sea. His footsteps are not known. He doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. As it says in Job 5 verse 9. Hallelujah. And in Job 5, when we go to Job 5 verses 11 and 12, Job 5 verses 11 and 12 says, to set up on high those that be low, that those that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Those that be mourn will be exalted to safety. He set up those that be low. Hallelujah. He set up. He set up on high. Those that be low is the only one that put it down. And he's one that raises up. He has told us that not nobody gets anything 
except it has been given from heaven. Hallelujah. And verse 12 says, It disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. It disappointed the devices of the crafty. Every crafty that wants to oppose his favor in our lives, every crafty that wants to oppose his mercy, that wants to oppose his move, it disappointed them that they will not be able to and um, um, practice their enterprise hallelujah so the monster is always working always for us give your life to christ today and you will have peace that surpasses understanding you will have unending joy hallelujah hallelujah and in isaiah 44 in isaiah book of isaiah 44 from verse 25 it says that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make a diviners mad that turn it wise men backward and make it their knowledge foolish. He made diviners mad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's the only one that created heaven and earth. There's no other God except him. Hallelujah. So all the diviners, all the enchanters, all the um, all those horoscope, all those things, he disappointed their works. Amen. That that confirm it the word is of his servant and perform it the counsel of his messenger that said to jerusalem thou shalt be inhabited and to the cities of judah ye shall be built and i will raise up the the, the decayed places thereof you will raise up the decayed places what, which one of your life that has been decayed in every way he said he will raise it. Hallelujah. He's coming deep. He's coming deep. He's coming big. Hallelujah. All you need is to trust in his word. Read his word in spirit. The word will become spirit and work in your life. Hallelujah. That said to the deep, be dry. And I will dry up the rivers. He said, he said to the deep, be dry. The deepest ocean that is taking the joy of your life away, that is troubling your life, that is making you up and down, not have peace of mind. He said he will drive the drip deep. Hallelujah. He said we drive the deep. He said, and he will dry up the rivers. The river of affliction. Hallelujah. Rivers of stagnancy, backwardness, rivers of unhappiness. He said he will dry it and he carries his word above his name. Let's remember that. Hallelujah. That said of Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even saying to Jerusalem that thou shalt be built and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. Hallelujah. All the promises is the promises that he is going to fulfill. Hallelujah. Let's do our part. To take Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, not to turn to the right or to the left away from Him, He will surely come big. He will give us unending mercy, unlimited favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Second Kings. Second Kings four. In Second Kings four, from verse twelve, uh, it's about Shunammite woman. How she got unmerited favor. He was even telling the man of God, Man of God, don't fool me. Oh, I don't want. <laughs> but man of God spoke, and God says yes. Amen. So um Second Kings 4 from verse 12. I'll read from verse 12 says, And he said to Geazi, his servant, Call this Shunamite. <coughs> Excuse me. Call this Shunamite. And when he had called her, she stood before him, and he said unto him, Say now unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care. What is to be done for thee? Wouldest thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, <coughs> Excuse me. And she answered, I dwell among my, my own people. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gazi answered, Verily, she had no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And when 
he had called her. She stood in the door and he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. The man of God spake unto her life. And without faith, he, don't, he doesn't even have faith. He was saying, man of God, don't, 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 don't disturb me. You know that kind of thing. It's not in favor that is merit, merited. It's the one that the most I stamp from the man of God. God stamps it because his word, he carried it above his name. Hallelujah. And she said, nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto the handmaid. He's telling man of God not to lie. Do not lie unto thy handmaid. That means he has no faith. He has, she has totally lost hope. The favor wasn't merited. It is the most high that in his infinite mercy that decides who he gives favor to. Hallelujah. And when he gives, he gives it totally, abundantly. Amen. And the woman conceived and bare a son that that season that Elisha had said unto her according to the time of life. And when she when the child was grown, it fell on the day that he went out of his father to the reapers. And he said, He unto his he said unto his father, My head, my head. And he said to a lad, Carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees still noon and then died. Hallelujah. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore will thou go to him to do today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. Hallelujah. Then he went. And she went to the man of God because she knew that she didn't ask. The man of God said, what do you want me to do? She, she didn't specify on anything. The man of, and then Gazi said, oh, she doesn't have a child and the husband is old. And the man of God said, uh, prophesy into her life. And God said, uh, agree with that. So that's why she has to go to the man of God. And verse 25, 2 Kings 4 verse 25 says, so he went and came unto the man of God. To Mount Carmel, and it came to pass when the man of God saw her far off that he said to Gehazi, His servant, behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her and say unto her, Is it well with thee? It is well with thy, is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And, uh, and she answered, It is well calmly if she come hallelujah and when she came to the man to the man of god to the hill she caught him by the feet but gazi came near to trust her away and the man of god said let her alone for her soul is vexed within her and the lord had hid it from me and had not told me hallelujah it's not everything god says to his servant we prophesy in part we see in part hallelujah and when i go to verse 32 and when elisha came because the man of god has given elisha his rod to put on the sun and the elisha because of the kind of spirit is god nothing happened so man of god had to go to the house to see the sun and when elisha come into the house behold the child was dead and laid up his laid upon his bed he went in therefore and shut the door upon him twine and pre prayed unto the unto the lord and he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands and stretched himself upon the child and the flesh of the child wax warm hallelujah then verse 35 said then he returned and walked in the house and in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him and the child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes 
Hallelujah. 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 That is one of your unmerited favor. The most I have decided to favor the woman, even when the child died, I am that I am still used his servant Elisha to bring back the child so that the joy, the favor that God has shown the family will last long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In Job 5, verse 19, Job 5, verse 19, from verse 19. He says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from the from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Hallelujah. That is un unmerited favor. Amen. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee, and thou shalt sh know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and shall not sin. Hallelujah. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thy offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come to thy grave in full age. Hallelujah. That can only be given by the most I am that I am ancient of this. King of glory. It can only be given by our creator, our, our Lord, our Savior. Hallelujah. That is unlimited favor. That is a divine mercy. Amen. That is a unmerited favor that is a great grace hallelujah it is only the most high that can give it give your life to christ today and he will visit you hallelujah in jeremiah 9 verse 23 in summary it tells us to give all the glory to the lord almighty as he is the giver of all things nothing has been given to us on this earth without it's coming from him. Hallelujah. He is the giver of favor. Unmerited favor. Hallelujah. If you have said all this with me and you have not given your life to Christ, tomorrow might be too late. Give your life to Christ today and he will settle with you. Blessed Spirit, Holy Spirit will take it from there and it will dwell in favor. You will live in peace. Your days will be long. Your children shall be great. Hallelujah. And if you have not gotten any, he will favor you to that extent. He will favor you to go uh, in labor, in favor, in grace. And you will raise the children in favor, in grace. Hallelujah. There is nothing impossible for him. He's the only one. He's the giver of life. He's the only one that gives that gives wealth and he added no sorrow to it amen say after me if you want to give your life to christ say christ jesus of nazareth which, which his name in hebrew is yashaya you can call him yashua anyone christ jesus nazareth yashaya have mercy on me forgive me all my sins i believe you i take i believe your death and resurrection for me i believe your death and resurrection for me. I take you as my personal Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Take total control of my life. Amen. And I pray with you that the most I will take away out of stone from you and give you out of flesh. You shall love the Lord. You shall walk with the Lord. You shall be of the Lord. You shall live for the Lord and you will end with the Lord. I am that I am almighty. In the mighty name of Yahshua, you shall finish strong. You shall end well. And blessed is the Spirit shall radiate in your life. Unlimited favor shall rest in your life. Grace shall walk with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. If you have said that with me, please go to any Bible-believing church near you and the true man of God will baptize you. And if you have Bible already, dust it and start praying. Pray. Have a conversation with him. Blessed Spirit, Holy Spirit will take it from there. We'll take you one day at a time, one step at a time. And before you know it and you look back, you say, wow, things I used to do, I do them no more. I'm closer now to my maker. I am with him now. He will rest his unlimited favor, unmerited favor of me, hallelujah, and we shall see, 
Sunday in glory. Walk with the Most High in truth, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart. Shalom.